I'm sure you're familiar with that great line from Animal Farm, namely, all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. George Orwell was indeed prescient when it comes to how a supposedly democratic and secular society should treat everyone equally, equally, that is, until someone or some group wants to be treated specially and perhaps in a non-secular way. Well, if you represent the right identity politics, then suddenly the ruling elites are all too keen to apply an asterisk to that bothersome equality rule. Case in point, Robin Urbach of the National Post recently reported that parents at a Toronto school who had a big problem with Ontario's new sex ed curriculum have been placated. You see, instead of learning the same sex education program as the rest of the province, grade one students at Thorncliffe Park Public School will have the option of receiving a sanitized for your protection version. For example, the term private parts will be used instead of saying penis or vagina. The school has promised further modifications on future lessons, including those on puberty and menstruation for grade four and five students. Gee, how will they rebrand menstruation that time of the month when the painters are in? Uh, who knows? The rejigging of the sex ed curriculum makes for a staggering retreat by the previously defiant Win Liberals. They vowed they'd never back down to anyone who had a problem with their supposedly new and improved sex ed program, even though there was plenty of parental outrage in many quarters. So riddle me this. What's different about Thorncliffe Park Public School? How is it that this particular school, which is located smack in the middle of Premier Wynne's own writing, receives an exemption no other school has received? Well, can you say Sharia Creek? You see, this part of Toronto has a large Muslim population, and judging by the number of burqas and niqabs one routinely sees in this neighborhood, we're not talking Muslim light here. And they were mightily peeved off about the Liberals' sex ed program, so much so that hundreds of parents yanked their kids from class. In fact, just down the road from Thorncliffe Park is Valley Park Secondary School. That's the school that has also received special status when it comes to the Toronto District School Board's secular policy. That's because some Islamists actually convinced the school board to allow for its cafeteria to be transformed into a mosque on Fridays. And not just a garden variety mosque, folks, but a gender apartheid mosque. You see, the boys sit at the front of the makeshift mosque, the girls are at the back, and at the very, very back of the facility are those girls who are on their period. You see, they are considered unclean during this time frame, and you don't want these gals contaminating the entire room while everyone is praying to Allah. I'm not making this up, folks. And think about this for a second. We're not in Tehran. <laughs> We're talking Toronto in the 21st century. How utterly bizarre. Ontario Education Minister Liz Sandals said a while back that if and when exemptions are requested to the Ontario sex ed curriculum, they would be considered on a case-by-case -case basis. But all the Catholic school boards have been told in no uncertain terms to shove their Catholic doctrine and teach the sex ed curriculum as is. Yet a school with a large Muslim population receives a get out of sex ed free pass. That's interesting. Bottom line, it's worth repeating yet again, some animals are more equal than others. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.